This is an ICP Bitcoin chart, and we're about 12 days away from a potential 300% increase in the price of ICP against Bitcoin if history maybe doesn't repeat but rhymes. This is an extremely bullish chart. I'll go into more detail a little bit later in the video. We're going to cover some important roadmap updates. We're going to cover the Token 2049 event. And we have a date for Bitfinity, which is going to bring Bitcoin Layer 2 and EVM functionality through ICP Chain Fusion. We have a date set. We're going to go over that. And we're going to take a look at the ICP versus the dollar chart and important levels that we need to take out to uh, make sure the ICP's price, at least the trajectory and the trend, is moving to the upside. Make sure to like the video and let's jump right in. We'll get back to that ICP Bitcoin chart in a little bit. But first, I want to share a video from the Definity X page talking about essentially this is a wrap up video. If you missed all the exciting things that happened at Token 2049 in Singapore, the world's largest crypto convention, a lot of things came out of that for ICP. If you missed it, here you go. Here are some of the most important things. Let's take a listen. Moments. Two big partnerships were announced during the events. The Definity Foundation has signed a letter of intent with Cambodia's Ministry of Industry, Science, Technology, and Innovation. This collab will explore how the ICP tech stack can power smart city infrastructure, AI innovations, and sovereign cloud solutions, paving the way for a significant leap in Cambodia's digital transformation journey. Cambodia's commitment to embracing new tech is truly inspiring. Hello, Cosmos. Welcome to the ICP ecosystem. Osmosis and Omnity Network announced a partnership in Singapore to bring CKBTC to the premier DEX in Cosmos. This collab unlocks secure cross-chain Bitcoin transfers and enhances BTC liquidity and interoperability across DeFi. Get ready for a new era of Bitcoin in the Cosmos ecosystem. Dominic Williams, chief scientist of Definity Foundation, took center stage at multiple events in Singapore, showcasing ICP's unstoppable, tamper-proof, and autonomous tech stack. From addressing cybersecurity at the AI Web3 City Luncheon to a highly anticipated fireside chat with Michael Turpin, CEO of Transform Ventures at AI 2049 Chain Reaction, the focus was on the transformative potential of AI on-chain. He also spoke of the power of smart contracts for cybersecurity and AI at the Longitude by Cointelegraph. It's no secret that network activity has been exploding on ICP, so much so that even aggregator platforms are noticing ICP's burn rate increase. And cycle burn isn't the only metric exploding on ICP. TPS is now routinely topping 10K+, plus, with the vast majority of calls being update calls. Burn, baby, burn. Bob.fun launched this month and introduced the concept of proof of on-chain work on ICP, providing an example of how ICP canister smart contracts can enable fair token launches. With more developer demand for ICP, more subnet options are available for developers to deploy their canisters. Another advanced meme coin miner launched this month. Fully open source, entirely on-chain, and good for the environment. They've also teamed up with Decide AI, giving everyone a shot at block rewards through their lottery system. Just verify your account with Decide AI to join in. ICP liquid staking now available on Metapool. Metapool has established itself as a leader in staking, continually advancing its mission to offer decentralized on-chain and multi-chain governance. And that's a wrap, folks. Make sure to follow. And uh, that was just in the month of September. So if you're watching this and your only focus has been the price, um, I have news for you. There's a lot of exciting things happening on ICP. Um, the price might not be where you want it to be. We'll get into price in a little bit. But the point is, there is a lot of things happening behind the scenes. And if you're watching this video, pat yourself on the back because you're staying up to date on everything that is happening in the ICP ecosystem. A lot of exciting things. The Cambodia partnership is super exciting. Uh, there's no other chain, really, that I believe can do everything that ICP is going to do. And I think if this thing in Cambodia goes as planned, showcasing that, hey, you can run an entire government system completely on chain with no centralized cloud server, no data oracles, no nothing, all on chain with ICP, I think is extremely exciting. Going on to their roadmap, a couple of things I want to share and share and highlight with you. Now, ICP's roadmap is one of the most massive and thought out roadmaps that I have seen. They have it categorized in different things like privacy, AI, chain fusion. Uh, I'm going to share two of them from the roadmap, although there's tons to share, but I'm going to focus on two. One of them is from the decentralized AI. 
And as I zoom this in, you'll see here. Now, some of the things that are currently in progress, as you can see here from the yellow redo, I'm not sure if that's the redo emoji, but either way, you have a API for AI computations. That is currently in progress. But the more important one here, this one Dominic talks about all the time, the WASM64 execution environment. This is going to take ICP's AI productivity to a whole new level. The execution environment is lifted to WASM64 with the benefit of a 64-bit address space and its much larger addressable memory, allowing developers to load larger models in main memory. Just think of it this way. Put it in simple terms. Uh, it can handle more AI. It can handle the more adverse AIs, uh, the more larger scale, large language models. You also have this. This is from the, their Chain Fusion roadmap. Uh, a lot of exciting things are happening. Take a look here. So a couple of the ones that I think are important. One is Trust Wallet integration. Now, this is a wallet that I have. I'm sure if you've been in the space for long enough, you probably have one as well. It's a multi-chain wallet. That's available on mobile or on desktop. Uh, they're going to be integrating ICP with the widely trusted Trust Wallet pr uh, project to facilitate adoption of ICP beyond the current audience. Uh, I think that's extremely important. ICRC21 canister messages. Uh, that is getting an upgrade. And you also have the implementation of IRC, I ICRC21 in ledger devices. Uh, it allow us to support generic transactions within the Ledger wallet. And you can see here, along with other things in their future upgrade, the other one I want to talk about is the this one right here, OICI. So this is part of the toroidal upgrade. Uh, OICI is a multi-chain wallet powered by Chain Fusion. Uh, now, these are both in progress. So shift OICI's ownership model to a canister per user model under this change. The digital assets for each OIC user will reside in a user-controlled canister. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, that's coming to ICP. Also, the signer standards are getting an upgrade to support the signer standards to foster a vibrant and diverse ecosystem of signers and relying parties. Users can safely transact with digital assets using the OIC wallet and signer standards compatible dApps. This will be EVM compatible. You can access it through Wallet Connect. And so we talk about connectivity and, you know, the world of interoperability and blockchain. ICP is currently working on that. I did mention a uh, we have a date for Bitfinity. 46 days from now, the mainnet will launch. If you're not familiar, Bitfinity is a next generation Bitcoin layer 2 using chain fusion technology to let developers deploy advanced Solidity smart contracts, which are Ethereum smart contracts and other ones that use Solidity and interact with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Runes, and the BTC token. The future of decentralized connectivity is here. Mark your calendars. Now, I want to go back to the very first chart I showed you in the very beginning of this video, and that is this chart. Let me explain to you why I said that ICP's price against Bitcoin could potentially gain around 300%. Let's remove these here. And let's take a look at what happened. This is going back to February of 2023 until about December of 2023. So we had about 10 months of just downward price action on ICP versus Bitcoin, about 190 days. Okay. Then we take a look at, okay, well, what happened around two months prior to this massive breakout we see here, which we'll go over that in a second. We saw price start to trend upwards, making higher highs, higher lows. But at the very end, it was still chopping until it finally broke out on December 8th, which is my birthday, uh, and went all the way up around 222% against Bitcoin. Well, what are we seeing now? We're seeing from March of this year, price start to go down against BTC. And what have you noticed? Starting around August, we see price make higher highs, price make higher lows, and we are trending, kind of chopping between this uh, uh, 001 and this 0015 level. And well, what would another 220% increase look like? Uh, I think we're going to see something similar with ICP. I think we saw with Bob.fun, what when you bring productivity and you bring users and you bring network activity on the ICP network, 
it truly becomes deflationary and it truly impacts the price. I believe we're going to see more of that, what we saw with Bob Fund, but on a larger level scale, moving into the end of this year and into 2025. And so if history rhymes, not necessarily repeats itself, and we even see a 70 to 100% increase of the price of ICP versus Bitcoin, we could be looking at a nice, healthy gain for ICP. We go to the daily chart on ICP versus the US dollar. We are at a key level here. Now, these orange lines, these support and resistance bands, I've had these on here for quite some time, and they've essentially hold, held true outside of one deviation where we saw the price of ICP blast through this $8.92 level and go all the way up to almost $10. We'll call it 10 bucks. It did wick up to $10. This was back on uh, September 27th. Now, the important thing here was we came back and retested the upper end of it, and then we bounced off, which was great. But ultimately, price fell through both of our uh, support levels, and we are now currently retesting the lower end of the spin, which is right around $8.65. Now, up until then, we had been putting in higher highs and higher lows. As you can see here, put in a higher high on September 10th, a higher low on September 18th a higher high on September 28th, and a higher low on October 2nd. Now, the important thing here to keep this uptrend intact, at least on the micro scale, is going to be to overtake this $9.88 level. Could we see a little bit of a pullback? This is on the daily. Ultimately, we want to see a break above. A retest is fine, but we want to take out this local high. If we do that, we would have reversed this downward price action that we've had in ICP going all the way back to March of this year, which obviously coincides as well with the Bitcoin versus ICP price target. So $10 is a very, very important level. We throw on our volume range profile. We take a look. Well, where is a lot of buying and selling coming in? You can see right at that $9.70, $10 level, we have a lot of transactional volume happening, buying and selling. Once we clear that, you guys, there's really nothing stopping us till around $12.50 to $13.50, which subsequently we would have taken out two more highs uh, and then back up to $20, $22, $50, $60, $70, $100. Uh, we're super bullish on ICP here at Sin City Crypto. Let us know your price prediction for ICP in the 2025 bull market cycle. We're curious to know your thoughts. We'll share it on our live show a couple of the good ones. And speaking of our live show, check it out Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you next one. Peace.